It's not money you have to pay. It's no, money. No, it's not. these universities now paying assistant coaches $2 million. You don't lose a penny of it. You don't have to incur the bill. So what happens to the program like Middle Tennessee State? Screw the, the Middle Tennessee one. State. Screw them. We don't need them. If you can't afford it, get lost. Who, who says college football is about central divisional trucking schools? What do I care about Middle Tennessee State? If they but fell off are, the earth tomorrow, I don't give a rip about Middle Tennessee State. You have a new arch nemesis. God, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what about Middle Tennessee State? What about them? If they <laughs> dropped off the face of the earth tomorrow in football, I'm not talking the students and academics, you're telling me we don't pay college athletes so Middle Tennessee State can survive? You, you, that's your reasoning. Your reasoning for not paying athletes, what happens to the little guy? Who cares? They shouldn't be playing football anyway because <laughs> those schools have to play Tennessee and get beat 68 to nothing to afford to pay for their football program. If you have to play a body bag game twice a year to have a football program, drop football. Pay attention to academics. His reasoning is we shouldn't do it because a middle Tennessee state, what happens to them? What do I care? What does anybody care? Middle Tennessee state shouldn't have football if the only way it survives is not paying Todd Gurley 300 bucks a month extra. That's not an argument. I mean, seriously, that is not an argument in America. Hell, we have 30 million people in poverty in this country doesn't seem to care about them. I, I care about Middle Tennessee State's football program. I always hear that argument. What about the little guy? What about him? Since when has college football ever drawn up a television contract and said, whoa, 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 whoa. What about Middle Tennessee State? The only state they care about is Ohio State. You can't ask Middle, Middle, we're not doing any of this for Middle Tennessee State. We're not not paying them or paying them for Middle Tennessee State. That, that, that argument just doesn't hold water at, at all. Middle Tennessee State. God, I said it 13 times in a minute. That'll end up on YouTube. Jeez. That, that, it always comes down to that. What about the little guy? Mm. I, I've said before, I went to Eastern Washington University. I love them. I mean, they're rubbing nickels together. But if you're talking about what we're doing now in college football and all this stuff, there's a lot. You know how many college basketball programs there are in America? A lot. I think it's like 500. It's like, do you really need basketball at 500 schools in America? Really? The Ivy League seems to do fine with lousy sports. Well, it is sports. nice for more players to be able to play in college, it's, right? It's nice. It's not a necessity. It helps high school basketball. Super duper. And that means what in the big picture? I mean, I'd rather all those kids in high school not play basketball and get four points and be better Americans. I mean, I think we're overstating. <laughs> Wait, you think they're better Americans uh, if they don't I focus think we're on over, basketball? I think we're overstating the importance of a lot of these D2, D3, D6, D9 lacrosse programs. I think, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just, people seem, they get so angry at an athlete making money you're not paying the bill well, that's what that guy's problem was is he said they don't need six hundred dollar more than six hundred dollars to survive that's not the point the point is they deserve to be paid because the school is making so much money off of them right. he didn't get that point 